After taking a break, guess what? I'm painting cats again. In this short demo, I want to show you how I go about choosing color combinations and matching fur color with the limited palette. Before painting, I like to sketch out the subject using a pencil. This helps me sort out tonal value ahead of time. To keep it simple, I'm using the famous Zorn palette of four acrylic colors, yellow ochre, ivory black, cadmium red medium, and titanium white. I often refer to this color guide to match color. This tabby cat's fur can be matched by mixing ivory black with a touch of yellow ochre and lots of titanium white. If you're worried about losing the pencil guidelines, just paint in small sections. This will also keep you from being overwhelmed. As you can see, yellow with a touch of red and lots of white gives me the closest match to this cat's ears. There are so many different ways of painting. I personally like to build layers of color and save the details for later. When an area like this towel is not the focus of the painting, it's best to skip excessive detail there. If you find that you've gone overboard with detail, it's easy to glaze over any dark or harsh markings with a watered-down mix of color. For a suggestion of texture, I often use an almost dry brush to drag color over the surface. And finally, for her whiskers, I'm using a glaze of white to add subtle strokes of color. Glazing with a watered-down mix, sometimes in layers, allows me to have more control over the opacity. The more you paint, the more you learn about portraits as well as this limited palette of colors. Well, I hope you found this short demo helpful. Here's my model Suki, signing off. Thanks for watching.